My name is Robin Lee. Welcome to Buzz on the Bluffs, Vicksburg, Mississippi's Community Insights Program. We're going to be looking at people, places, and events which impact our community. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for joining me today. My guest is Della West. Welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Well, you're an author. I am. And you live in Vicksburg. Since 2005. 2005. Okay. Well, it's good to have you back. Thank you. Or here. Whatever. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about what you write and what you've published and just tell me about yourself. I write cowboy poetry, paranormal fiction, fantasy, novellas, and I'm working on a new novella now. And what is paranormal fiction? It could have demons or ghosts, something supernatural. Okay. And you have an event coming up. I do. I have a um, book signing with Alexander Brown. Okay. And tell us who Alexander is because I've seen his name around town. He's a uh, writer and an editor here in town. He's been published for years. Is he your editor? He's one of my editors. He's one of your editors. Mm -hmm. You have more than one editor? I'm I impressed. do have three publishers, so I have editors with all of them. Well, I'm impressed. You Thank just you. have a whole host of publishers and <laughs> editors. Okay, but there's an event coming up um, later in October. Halloween. We have a book signing at Cafe Paradiso. Okay, so that's October the 31st. Mm -hmm. What time? 11 to 3. Okay, and you're going to be signing books. You'll be selling books. Selling, signing signing books, and Alex and will as well. He will be there mm -hmm. as well. Any other authors or it's the two of it's you? It's just the two of us. Two of you. And it's at Cafe Paradiso. And that's the coffee shop over behind Walgreens. Exactly. On Chick Hall's Ferry. Chick-fil-A behind all that. Okay. And tell me what people can expect. Are y'all going to be like, is there going to be paranormal activity going on? Or? <laughs> well, you never know when my partner in crime and I get together what might happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you've got three books here on the coffee table. Tell me a little bit about each one because these are more anthologies. These aren't They're, whole books right. that you've written. Right. I have, a, I have a poem or short story in each of them. Okay. Uh, so, State of Horror, Illinois is okay. my serial killer, Chicago Mike. And that's a short story. It is. Okay. They're, they're all short stories or poems that I have with me. How did you get into this? Well, actually, I saw a um, uh, submission call on Facebook. And just decided to start writing? And I had about 10 days to come And up was with that your idea. first time to ever write? That was the first time I ever wrote a short story and submitted it, yeah. Well, I mean, just what prompted you? Did you just think, oh, I'm going to do that? I can give it a try, yeah. <laughs> And that's my battle for Vicksburg. That's my first, uh, the first thing, first short story I ever submitted got accepted. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. And they put it first in the book. They really? That was good. Yeah, I didn't know. So now you have a book deal that you're working on. Can we talk about that? Uh -huh. Okay, so you have a book deal where you actually will have the entire book. Well, yes, I, a short story was requested and I wrote it and it was accepted. So now I'm going to write two books associated around that short story. And we don't want to give too much away, but it has to do with a cat. It does. My Maine Coon cat, Romeo, yeah. who has a blog that's read all over the world. So right. he's already famous. I'm trying to catch up with him. And he's funny. He can be. Yeah. <laughs> he does and says really funny things. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right at the house. Now, what is in this book? This is my cowboy poem, okay. Find Yourself a Cowboy. Okay. Find Yourself a Cowboy. You were looking for a cowboy for a while. I'm still looking for You're a cowboy. You're still looking for a cowboy. I thought you had found a cowboy. What page is it on? It's not. The, the cowboy part. cad? No, I'll Find Myself a Cowboy. Find it's Myself a Cowboy. Okay, tell me what's in that book. I'm going to look at this one. This is do that. Battle for Vicksburg in uh, Southern Haunts, Part 2, Devils in the Darkness, and that's a battle between good and evil that involves a demon and Generals Lee and Grant takes place in the military park here in town. I think you should read this. You don't want, you don't want to? No. Can yeah. I? Yeah, sure. How, why don't you want to read your own poem? You just don't. Okay. <laughs> Find myself a cowboy. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. <laughs> I thought I would do it without my glasses, but hey, that's not going to work. If I get my clutches on a cowboy, I will hold on mighty tight. Going to rope him like a calf. No point for him to fight. That man will be a goner, for I will dazzle him with charm. I will be tough if I have to, but I won't mean him any harm. The answer is a cowboy. Ma has told me so. So I am looking for a cowboy, but I don't know where to go. If out there on the dusty trail is a cowboy all alone, aim your horse for Mississippi. You have found yourself a home. <laughs> it's basically an open call to any cowboys who may be seeing this interview. Have you gotten any response from that? 
No. Not yet. I haven't gotten any applications submitted or anything. <laughs> Nobody's but. just shown up <laughs> in Mississippi saying, hey, where's Della West? Yeah, I'm waiting, though. <laughs> That's great, Della. <laughs> okay, so um, Halloween, October the 31st, mm-hmm. 11 to... 11 to 3. 11 to 3 at Cafe Paradiso on Halls Ferry behind Chick-fil-A. And we'll have Halloween candy. Oh, good. And you can get yourself a cup of coffee. Uh-huh. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.